Hello everyone, I'm Sean, CTO of Multivac. So glad to meet you in video. Uh, Multivac is an all-dimensional sharded protocol. We have been focused on uh, carrying on forward our project. Uh, in May 2018, we released our technical white paper, and in September, we released the, the yellow paper to show many technical details of the sharding solution. In October, we published the, the Multivax uh, lab data. Today, I'm going to show you how our testnet works in this video. Okay, now let's get started. First, let's begin with our all dimensional sharded scalability solution. Our sharding approach differs from and improves on almost all other existing sharding methods. Scalability is the major bottleneck preventing blockchains from reaching industrial capacity. Systems tackling the most promising scaling solutions thus far, blockchain sharding, have produced progress in parallelizing transaction processing but have not achieved full sharding needed for total scalability. Multivac was completely designed to serve as a solution. The world's first fast, efficient, and all-dimensional sharded blockchain designed for total scalability. Transaction sharding alone is not sufficient to solve blockchain's scalability problem. We are the first blockchain system to provide sharding not only for computation but also for data storage and transmission. In the lab data we released in October, our peak TPS reaches higher than 30,000 on 64 shards with an average of 481 TPS and a maximum of 533 TPS per shot. At the same time, the testnet proves linearly scalability and is able to meet the needs of large-scale decentralized applications. So that's a brief introduction. Now let's come to the next part, multivax testnet. Now I am going to show the startup process of the multivax testnet. The picture that everyone sees now is the dashboard of Alibaba Cloud, which is called as uh, Aliyun. Uh, this is the data center in Silicon Valley. Uh, in this dashboard, we can see the multivac relay server, this server, okay, um, through which we can upload all our data. The binary of the miner node is transferred to this cloud server and then distributed to all of our miners. So we are now uh, logged in to this server. We can go to the Multivac working directory first, uh, where we can see the Multivac project files, including all the code. Uh, the directory where you can enter is the remote test. Uh, in here, we can start our main script, uh, Python, then testnet.py. Uh, this is our main script to start the whole network. Uh, through this script, we can start uh, some servers, like uh, 40 servers for this test. Uh, when we conducted uh, lab tests in October, we used uh, Alibaba Cloud, Amazon AWS, and Microsoft Azure Cloud servers. Uh, so we can find that some uh, old scripts left. Uh, in October, we launched a total of uh, 12,800 nodes. Uh, the servers are distributed in uh, data centers such as Sydney, Silicon Valley, London, uh, Virginia, uh, Beijing, Singapore, and so on. So to ensure decentralization of the testnet environment. Uh, however, it is very, very expensive to launch such large number of uh, computers. So um, now we only start 40 nodes for the demonstration. Uh, and we will install four miners on each computer. So we have 160 miners and uh, they are distributed into uh, 16, 16 uh, shots. So we have uh, 10 miners in each shot. Um, according to the uh, lab data, it is possible to achieve a TPS close to that of uh, eight core with four times of dual core computers. Thus, uh, the overall performance of the system will not be reduced by computer configuration. We can see that uh, 3,200 dual-core computers can achieve almost the same peak TPS with 800 8-core computers. 
This feature of multivac can effectively reduce the barriers for miners, which means that each of us can use our ordinary PCs to participate in mining, and in turn the system becomes more decentralized, safer, and more stable. Uh, okay, we can refresh the Arling dashboard. Yes, we can see that uh, all the server configuration created are dual core with four gigabytes of memory, and it says that uh, the hardware requirements is very very low for multivac miner. Okay, now uh, forty servers have been uh, successfully launched. Now we can uh, start the multivac test network uh, with this command um, test. Okay, and with this comment, we can send all the instructions to 40 machines and also upload the programs of all our miners to all machines. Uh, since the startup process of the entire test network takes a certain uh, amount of time, uh, let us wait patiently. Uh, maybe let me introduce the technical features of the multivac sharding solution. Okay, let's go to the slides. The picture we show the data flow of the multivac sharding solution. Each shard of multivac is composed of nodes. Blocks only get transmitted within only one shard, and the block headers are transmitted across different shards, so the transmission volume is very small. The interaction between miners and the storage node is a lightweighted data structure called Merkle Proof. In our solution, both Merkle Proof and block headers are relatively small, and they are enough for the miners to verify the validity of the transactions. The ordinary miner node only needs to save the headers without the whole ledger, and the storage node will keep all blocks for one shot. And for each miner and storage node, the size of transmitted data is proportional to the transactions in only one shot. Okay, let's get back to the testnet. Now you can see the multivac testnet has started. Since uh, this is a demo network, I will not set the TPS very high. The average TPS of each shot is just over 200. Uh, throughout the process, we use uh, Prometheus to monitor all data. Uh, let me check. Okay, uh, Prometheus is working. Uh, we use Prometheus to monitor all data, including uh, memory states, uh, disk states, uh, memory, uh, uh, the bandwidth, uh, the CPU load, and so on. So uh, besides pending, uh, the pending transaction, uh, the broadcast rate, uh, the uh, shard max height, the shard size, the TPS, uh, those uh, are monitored by Prometheus, so we can uh, check that. Okay, here we can see uh, six pictures of our uh, GraphNAS dashboard. Uh, we use GraphNAS dashboard to uh, uh, relatively completely monitor the, the whole system, uh, and this is the uh, TPS of each shot. And here, this is the uh, broadcast message rate, and this is the uh, shot height. We can find that each shard is uh, proposing their own block. So they have different uh, heights of blocks. And this is the pending transaction. Uh, it depends on the uh, loader that we push it into each shard. And this is the uh, CPU usage rate. And we can find that uh, the CPU usage is about 70% um, to 90% for each computer because um, we have four miners in each computer, so this is very uh, efficient. And we also have the memory, uh, sorry, I have to uh, minimize this uh, image. So, okay, uh, this is the memory used uh, uh, demonstration. We, we find that uh, each computer has uh, less than four gigabytes of memory, and we find that uh, there are still about three gigabytes free. So uh, our miner used only less than one gigabyte.
gigabytes of memory. Now let's take a look at the development of Multivax GitHub code. All current Multivax source code is on GitHub. In GitHub's Multivax tech uh, directory, we currently have nine repositories, including main network development, blockchain browser, uh, our official website, and our yellow paper, and so on. So uh, the updates and the iterations will all be shown on GitHub. However, uh, since our code is in private, if you are not a member of the Multivac Foundation, you will not be able to see them. Multivac has finished over about uh, 50,000 lines of code and our system is developed with the Go language. Uh, the code library contains a total of uh, 62 folders and almost 400 files. Uh, we have uh, installation guide, uh, development guide, and the test guide. Um, now, Multivax code base includes open source third party code, such as P2P library and JSON packages, as well as uh, Multivax uh, self developed code, including the, uh, uh, the like, Merkle tree based uh, storage, uh, the storage nodes here. Uh, we have uh, the shard processing uh, mechanism and we have the uh, VRFs to uh, reshot. So uh, we also have a net interaction uh, based on the innovative design of new storage structure. So uh, in this way, the interaction data between the two nodes can be reduced uh, to very small data amount. In addition, we also design a transmission method uh, here uh, and this way. <coughs> so, uh, we do not need to uh, the whole network broadcasting. As a result, uh, it solves the transmission bottleneck faced by the uh, current blockchain field. So we can show some uh, basic uh, code. Okay, so we have <coughs> uh, this is our sharding uh, processor, and we also have our uh, VRFs. Okay, uh, it's based on uh, Edwards 25519. This is uh, our VRF implementation. And we also have uh, our very interesting uh, Merkle tree based uh, storage. Okay, so we uh, support very little uh, data transmission to verify the whole block. So we do not need to store the whole ledger of the system. If you would like to know more about Multivac, you can also visit our official website. It's uh, www.mtv.ac. You will find our information like uh, technical white paper, sharding yellow paper, and one pager. The technical details are described in our yellow paper. So you are also welcome to discuss more technical details with me. You are welcome to contact me at the bottom of the screen is my contact information. Thank you for your watching.